Hey everybody, welcome. Another great day, another amazing night, whatever time it is where you're at. I hope you're doing amazing and just the best you can. And um, before I get started today, I just want to send you some good vibrations, some positive energy, and some best wishes. Coming at you. You know, when we really think about it, as individuals, as people, as humans on this planet, we're far stronger than we realize. Throughout our life, there's so many instances which try to take our strength and minimize it. Minimize the fact that every single one of us is powerful, strong individuals. And it's not just physical strength, although physical strength is a component which we all contain. Each of us has almost a superpower. But strengths come in many fashions and forms. True strength is when you can stand up for righteousness and justice against all oppositions. And we see this historically throughout history. Times when the whole populace had different ideas on how life should be lived and what was right and what was wrong. And at certain times, the populace was so convinced that their actions and their mindset were the right path when they were hurting other people on this planet. You take times in our history of every culture, from ancient Egypt, to the Roman Empire, to the Ottoman Empire, to the foundation of the United States, to every empire and organization in history, and all of these groups at one time or another had slavery. You know, we romanticize and look at all these different cultures like these great ancient Egyptian pyramids, but a lot of this stuff was built on the backs of slaves. And true strength came in the people that stood up and said, this is not right. We can't live in a utopia when so many around us are suffering. And those voices that'll stand up against all the opposition when everybody sees it one way, that's true strength. That is the ability which is inherent inside every single one of us. This is our core values, our strength on right and wrong. And often in this society, in this complex world of technologies and different thoughts and ideologies, everything can just get reversed and mixed up and turned around. But we have to come back to our core, our essence, and inside us when we're first born, when we first start out, we see the world clearly. We don't have all these distorted filters. And as these filters come into our life, it takes strength to push them away and say, just because so many people think that's the right way, I'm gonna show strength, fortitude, and stand up and say, that's wrong, that's not right. There's things on this planet that people just blindly go along with. When it comes to diet, humans are primates. A primate and a carnivore are two different creatures when it comes to dietary intake. But humans have adapted this lifestyle which is overly focused on meat consumption. And as a result of eating too much meat, you know what the number one cause of death of humans is on the planet? It's not terrorist attacks. It's not the virus. It's not car accidents. The number one cause of death on this planet is heart attacks and strokes. The number one reason for heart attacks and strokes is hardening of the arteries from cholesterols found in meats. Eating an improper diet is killing more people on the planet than anything else in existence. But still the majority thinks it's the right thing to do because it's hugely financially profitable. But a very few small amount of people are standing up and saying, this is not the right way. The Amazon rainforest is currently in flames and burning because when the people down there burn all the trees down, they set up cattle ranches. Because people on the planet demand meat, 
other people on the planet burn down the rainforest, which we need for our atmosphere, for the air we breathe. So by standing up for simple things like this, this it shows true strength. Because you're standing up against the majority that say, uh, they're so stuck in their ways, we're not gonna change. We're gonna eat our meat, and we're not gonna be those soy boy, weirdo, free hippie, weird, all this derogatory, just hatred. You know, to be on this path of an elevated existence, to move to the higher levels, to transcend negativity and narrow-mindedness, you can come from every walk of life. A lot of people have this idea of new age people moving to higher levels, enlightenment and spirituality as being like these monks living out in the forest where people have stereotypes that it's like a hippie with dreadlocks and new age crystals. And these are all beautiful people. But it doesn't matter where you come from. You can come from the military, you can be a cowboy, you can be every genre of person. You can be a rocker, an emo, a b-boy. No matter what your style is or where you come from, you can walk onto this path of making this planet a better place. Move away from stereotypes. The styles we wear, the images, how we decorate our bodies, it's not us, it's not our core being. And the true strength to stand up to injustice is within all of us. The true strength is within every single individual. And strength doesn't come from having a huge organization behind you. Just because you have a whole force behind you, just because you have an entire military behind you, that doesn't make you strong as an individual. Just because you have superior intelligence and you know where to attack and where to go on this planet to hurt your enemies, all you've done on a universal scale is fight against similar people on a teeny planet in space. That's not true strength. If we can't even unify on one little planet, how can we ever branch out into space and other galaxies? How can we ever become more than just a single planetary creature? And there's a saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Everything we've created as humans is in this one basket on Earth. If an asteroid came, boom, Earth is gone. Everything ever made, everything ever written, Shakespeare, all the great art, all the great culture, destroyed in the blink of an eye. Because what are we doing on this planet? We're spying on each other, we're fighting each other, we're dividing on everything you can think of. We're dividing on nationalism. You know, I'm a Russian, I'm an American, I'm a Brazilian, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a that, and a this, and a this, and a that, and it's just a ball of massive hysteria. It's a needless waste of energy. And the true strength comes from looking at an outside perspective at everything and saying, this is not the right way. We're fighting ourselves. We're not fighting them, we're not fighting them. We've divided based on all these different religions. We've divided on all these different ideologies. We're a single group of people that is so so conflictual and true, th true strength is standing up and saying there's a better way there's a better way to live there's a better way to eat there's a better way to live on this planet there's a more balanced existence we can have no matter where you came from in your life no matter what your background is you can walk onto an elevated path it's never too late. You're never too young or too old to change and move up to these higher levels of existence. There's only one age that's alive. If you're alive, you're not too old or too young to make changes in your life, to be that strong person that stands up for justice, to be that strong person that stands up for the voiceless animals, these little creatures on the planet that when we eat them, destroy our arteries and kill us, they kill us when we eat them. 
And because we pay so much money for all this steaks and burgers and everything, people are burning down the Amazon forest. So you can be a hero. You can stand up and change. One simple change you can do is become a super being, move to a higher level with a super diet. Cut out all animal products from your diet. That's one step. You're far stronger than you believe you are. Ever since we're small kids, we're so programmed into everybody else and everything is bigger than us. You know, we're in school and we have to sit there and we have to listen to all these ideas and we don't have time to think and focus on who we are, what we believe in. As soon as we come into this existence, we're hit with all these books and concepts and religions and ideas that somebody else created. How about setting all that aside and just thinking inside yourself, what do I believe? What are my goals? What do I think is right and wrong? Not what somebody else thinks is right and wrong that they wrote down thousands of years ago. What do you think now inside your own self? This is where true strength come from, comes from. And when it comes to physical strength, I'm tough. Humans have the most amazing capacity for super strength on a physical level. And I'm not talking about the massive steroid of bodybuilder, you know, look how big I am, I can lift stuff. You know, because they've done competitions and they do like clean and jerk motions where they've lifted over a thousand pounds. But the smallest female, a man of small stature, which you wouldn't initially think was a powerful entity, possesses within their being connections to all power of existence. And this gives people super strength beyond anything you can fathom or imagine. This has been documented. And they actually have a term, they call it hysterical strength. And people make up the most random terms. They want to classify everything in existence. But hysterical strength is when someone goes beyond, through hysteria, a psychosis in their mind, which pushes, pushes their physiology to exceed its limits. And these cases have been studied and documented where small females have hoisted and lifted vehicles weighing over 3,000 pounds, hoisted it off of their children. Now, when you take a bodybuilder and put him down on a flat bench, Nobody, no matter how big he is, is going to take 3,500 pounds and rep out sets with it. It's not going to happen. But here you have this teeny petite female that hoisted this vehicle off of her infant. It's incredible. We've barely tapped into the capacity of our strength because we've wasted so much time going in the wrong directions, being controlled, all these different things, all these external inputs. When we actually have superpowers within us, that's a superpower. If I'm sitting there just walking, and I see a little girl throw, lift a vehicle and throw it, I'm going to be like, wow, that is amazing. That is astonishing. That is phenomenal. And that's just one of our fellow humans that did that. You know, in 1962, a comic book writer, Jack Kirby, he had the idea to make the comic of the Hulk. We all know the Incredible Hulk. His idea for the Incredible Hulk came from a person lifting a vehicle off of an infant. That's where he first conceptualized this person that when they get angry, this incredible strength materializes. When injustice happens or they're in danger or somebody else is in danger, this incredible strength materializes. And in reality, the Hulk was based on an actual event. The Hulk was based on a superpower which we all contain inside us. And every attempt to study this has been inconclusive. Because it's hard to, you know, actually make identical situations where someone's going to be killed. The test subjects always know it's a test, so there's going to be safety measures set in place. 
because they're not going to crush a human to death in order to see if this theory actually works. But people have incredible strength. I have, you have, we have more power and strength than we actually realize. Incredible strength. Think of one of the most incredible, beautiful animals on this planet that walks on the land, a polar bear. Polar bears are massive, thousands of pounds, just huge, incredible strength, tearing steel open, massive claws that can just snap tree branches, smashing through ice and glaciers. Polar bears are fearsome, incredible examples of physical power. And in 2006, a lady named Lydia in Quebec fought a polar bear to a standstill because this polar bear was attacking children. She's seen a couple human children being attacked by this polar bear and she ran out and engaged the polar bear. A lady ran up and physically fought off a polar bear. Now I've competed in my life in full contact fighting events. I've trained, I've fought against trained fighters that are trying to knock me unconscious and damage my physiology. But I've never fought against a polar bear. And here you have this lady who was successful in saving the lives of these children. So that just shows you that the incredible physical strength that we possessed is way beyond what we even comprehend. We've just started at this point in our history and in our lives as humans on this planet in this universe to tap into our full potential. Super strength of the mind, super strength of what's right and wrong and standing up against injustice. And when those around us that we love are in harm's way, super strength of the physiology and body. These are wonderful superpowers that we all possess, but that we rarely take the time to recognize and look into the potential which we each possess inside of us. So I just want you to know you're far stronger than you realize. I know it's hard when you may have a job where you have an over-domineering boss or you're in school and you have teachers pressing all these ideas upon you. When you feel like your whole life is making yourself smaller and submitting to other people's ideas. But in reality, there's a strength inside of you which can be assertive and aggressive and stand up to your boss without being offensive. There's a strength inside you which can stand up to your teachers when you feel they're being inappropriate. We need to learn from these people in our lives and our society, but we can't take abuse from people around us that abuse their positions of authority. Because inside of us is an amazing strength to stand up for ourselves in any situation. Whether it's an against an abusive parent, whether it's an against abusive teacher, whether it's against an abusive boss, we have the strength in our minds, we have the strength in our bodies to stand up to any situations and to arise and to come out as a better person. You're stronger than you think. Believe me, you are, we are, all of us, are way stronger than we think. I hope you're well. I hope you're happy. And I'd like to send you some more positive vibrations, some good energy, and all the best wishes.